Yeah, I, th I think uh, academic Asian would have been better off if he used some uh, evolu evolutionary psychologists or something to make his point mm -hmm. rather than um, Ebola. But, um, and people made this point to academic agent and academic agent uh, responded by saying that he's talking about, um, he's, he's talking about tradition. So he needs to, he needs to use uh, an actual traditionalist to- right. There is nothing traditionalist about fascism. They are revolutionaries. True. True. I mean, Evola wants to go back thousands of years. I mean, if I understood it right, he believes that the invention of the the, the writing, reading and writing, is is the beginning of the de degeneracy. <laughs> but but you know what's most funny but, that that uh, hunter gatherers were extremely uh, extremely degenerate, quote unquote, about their sexuality. So yes. It's, so it's what is this paradox? Uh, yes, to be non-degenerate, you need to be hunter-gatherer, but the hunter-gatherer are degenerate uh, sexually. So this is a degenerate uh, paradox. Yeah, and, Again, and, and the degenerate and... became a magic word to these old writer types that instead talking about uh, 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 ho uh, how do you say Batlan? Uh, Lazy about lazy and hedonistic people, uh, lazy, hedonistic, and subverters. This is the three words applic applicable to degenerate. Subverter, lazy, and uh, hedonistic. But, but uh, if you make it a, a magic word, you become, uh, you become uh, dragged into this endless uh, quest for the first degeneracy and how the Jew is behind it, uh, lunacy. And you become some uh, uh, weird psycho who write books and uh, walk out uh, taking shrapnels to the knee in air raids and doing nothing with your life. Uh, complete losers. And, so, I, and I'm not talking about their morality even. So I guess um, I guess you would say that um, it's a mis do you think Do you guys think it's a mistake to look at tradition uh, as opposed to biology? Um, I think it's. Uh, I no, think it's. No, but it's, it's fine thing. to look at tradition, but Evola is not. Tra he doesn't represent tradition. He's just one guy that writes his idea of what tradition was. I mean, it, it's contradictory. This isn't didn't Christianity and Islam, and probably Judaism, c uh, put a lead on degeneracy, put a, and try to establish stable family structures isn't that part of what christianity did so to be anti-christian and to say yeah but you want to go back to paganism i mean, I, I don't I, get I it. mean pa pagans pagans at orgy orgy worship ceremonies but it's uh, based I'm, on i'm anti-degenerate by for be, when, therefore i'm becoming a pagan but the pagan I worship did the orgies uh, ceremonies for their gods. I, 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 Complete, I guess uh, contradictory uh, nonsense. Yeah, I guess what um, Evola is saying is that you can't look at Christianity because uh, Europe is no longer really Christian. Like, like uh, the, the relig uh, that religiosity is dead. No, Europe is very much Christian. Look, look. Uh, the centers of the guy who, sh who killed five people with the bow and arrow today. You will see how yeah, but, Christian they still are. When love thy enemy. I mean, yeah, but uh, I, I know, I know what you mean. But, I, but what, what I mean is uh, institutional and uh, proper uh, Christianity. You know, like uh, people go to church on Sunday. They don't have sets outside of marriage. Yes, um, that that sort of thing is, um, and they and they don't do it because they actually fear uh, hell and God. Um, but that's just not there. But but uh, he's he's an atheist himself. So what is he whining about? It, it, yes, exactly. So so basically, uh, he he's saying uh, he's presenting something which which would be acceptable even, uh, or, which would be, or rather which would be, would be acceptable exactly to people who don't actually believe in God anymore. So that's why he can uh, so, say. But he, listen, he, he doesn't say go back to Christianity because he knows that people won't go back to it. Hold on, but pe most people who are atheists, at least today, don't believe in supernatural stuff. So why is he talking about supernatural? It doesn't make sense. If, if you want to convince an atheist of something, give him a logical explanation, give him biology, give him physics. Don't talk about supernatural. You're going to, tell him, you're going to sell them crystals. They call him a, a cock bitch. When Jordan Peterson yeah. does this exact thing. So, so I don't get it. Um, it, it seems contradictory. Another thing that AA did, he did these four videos response to Sitch and Adam, and he put all sorts of very interesting quotes. 
but he mixes up, from what I understood, and I'm not a, a history expert by any means, but I think he used quotes from the Roman Republic as if they were referring to the Roman Empire. So someone in the Roman Republic complaining about something in their society, and he made it seem as if it was happening just before the fall of the Rome, fall of Rome proper, but it wasn't. So, um, do you think it was an honest mistake? Or? Probably, probably. But it's it's like t trying to tie things to, too much together. I think he's what he's saying is essentially true, but he's he's making it a core belief, and again ignoring all the other things. So any any stable society or semi-stable society would have to balance all those things the, the 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 wish to be traditional and the wish to innovate the you know those five things that five um moral foundations that Jonathan Haidt talks about and Jordan Peterson you have to balance those otherwise you will not you will always have people who will rebel and and destroy what you've created uh, is Trumpton, for example, let's say that a place like this was created, most kids will leave it. So in the end, it will just be an old people's <laughs> village. <laughs> because the kids would, would probably rebel against this, uh, and they'll know there's this exciting world around them. So I, I guess what you're saying, you need to give them a way out. Um, well, the only way to keep this is is religious belief, really. This is the paradox of modernity, right? The way the Hasidic Jews do it, the uh, Amish do it, is they lock themselves out from the real world or from our world. They don't really know what's going on, and therefore they don't really have to deal with it. And you can stay in your bubble. And look, in, look, in a way, that's what he was trying to uh, do. Forget about the uh, Amish and so on. All these uh, uh, pl uh, plastilina, the British TV show nonsense, is basically the same error as a uh, anarcho-capitalist and communist. Is he wants to fix politics forever and freeze time, mm. wh which is very uh, uh, modernity Eurocentric oh. uh, attitude. You can't fix politics. You can't fix humanity forever. We, we got an error apparently in the stream. Existence. Evolus. Men and women won't ever truly find themselves, so to speak, unless they adopt either the path of absolute affirmation, that's being a warrior, a man of action, as a man, or a lover that is giving herself over entirely to a man as a woman. And the other path is the path of absolute dedication, that's being an aesthetic, essentially one who transcends and overcomes sensual pleasures as a man. It's just big fantasy at this point. Yes. If, if you go, and I will tell him uh, stories I know from Israel, to some uh, uh, elite special forces unit, like uh, Yahalom, uh, for example, uh, I just throw a single name. This is uh, the, the top tier engineering corps, uh, special forces unit. Do you think that on, on a Saturday uh, uh, on the base, they uh, cleaning their weapon again and again and again, and they sing uh, pro-war songs, and <laughs> they say, I want to kill and be killed for the glory of the state. They're patriotic, of course, but they're probably playing, uh, playing uh, how do you say Shesh Besh? Uh, uh, Black Yemen. Back, back, back Yemen. Back, back Yemen, yeah. They play this and they talk about it. This is utter fantasy. You talk to a Navy SEAL, do you think a Navy, a Navy SEAL soldier speak like like this weirdo? So what, the, the Navy SEAL is now is a cuck for this Ebola freak? I mean, I, I, I guess... fantasy nonsense. I mean, I guess it's more like an ideal to aspire to. Like, uh, like you Even might not... if the it. Navy SEAL cannot, cannot be near his uh, fantasy and he never achieved anything in his uh, life, uh, uh, politically speaking, why do we even we spending time on this nonsense? I guess I mean the question is not who said it, but whether what was said was true. That's right. Yeah, it's not true as well. Uh, uh, the duty of the wife is not to be some uh, idealized. Uh, I I don't think what kind of a uh, porn movie this Evola imagine. <laughs> uh, uh, look, look, my warrior husband. I made you. Uh, uh, free cakes to, today, but you climb so many mountains, so it won't get you a, a, a one gram fatter. 
So here's the free cakes and so on. What about the family? What about the community? Uh, what, uh, it, it's just LARPing nonsense, this Ebola. Yes. If one is warrior and another one is, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, An estate. Yes. Uh, what about, you know, the rest of life? What do you mean, the rest? Well, it's who's going to, who's who's uh, you know, Ebola. grow the food and, 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 what the hell do you think? and teach the kids and, is, and, is, and is drive the, the buses? Is, and <laughs> look, you, you didn't get, get his vibe yet. He's delinking, delinking a link between uh, fascism and Nazism. Yeah. He wants to go to eternal wars and have slaves doing this bidding. What do you think this kind of guy is? He will say this is only for the level of our... Uh, Conquered uh, nations. They are uh, the one to work at the factory. Yeah, you you know, you go and get killed. I'll, I'll just sit here and write some books. You know, very important. Uh, the books I write are just as important. Uh, uh, the the Sayeret Matkal soldiers play back in, back again uh, at uh, Saturday, so they are uh, blue pill, but he's the red pill. Um, and or a mother that is really to the child as a woman. The hardest aspect for the liberal mind to understand in all of this is that those paths represent ultimate freedom in self-actualization for any of us. And everything else, all of the other temptations in life, which modernity throws our way and self... Well, uh, uh, what the F is asking, if he's a capitalist or not, well... He used to be a capitalist, but it seems these days he's anti-capitalist because he's saying that uh, the um, capitalism has created the de degeneracy that uh, he's protesting against now. Yeah, so... yeah, yeah, basically he's saying that uh, um, you can't have, basically freedom le leads to capitalism, or, or rather you need freedom in order to have capitalism. Yes. But, but it also leads to, and capitalism and freedom lead to degeneracy, so we need to get rid of. So just have some, uh, like like you have a, a regulation against, a, let's say, a chemical lab. You must have this this and that thick walls if there will be an explosion. Have some minor anti-degeneracy regulations, like uh, uh, no porn websites. You can only be the, the creepy guy who buy the magazine at the alleyway with an ID, like in the eighties, for example. Uh, no, uh, uh, no uh, uh, art that desecrates the heritage of the nation may be openly presented only in internal shops, uh, not in the the public view to see. Uh, non, uh, have have a, a moral uh, uh, instead of the woke uh, uh, a commercial uh, watch that say if the woman is that thick, uh, thin, you are a criminal. Have a, if the woman is that. Uh, that uh, horish, uh, you need to tame, tame it down, for example, and so on and so on. Yeah. Just have moderate anti-degeneracy regulation into your capitalism, but but that's that's not but fixing politics. But that's not fixing politics forever. So uh, let's no. be revolutionary nonsense. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's this idea you can fix forever. Where in fact you have to constantly fix. But but they're like throwing their hands and saying, "Look, we, we can't because the, the the culture is just going crazy left." falling off the edge, you know, there's, nobody's uh, holding back uh, the balance, you know, we're seeing this is going on for, some of them would say since the 60s, some of them would say since the 90s, I don't know, uh, Evola would say since the 6000 BC, this degeneracy has been going on. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, who else uh, said someone, something interesting? Yes, Ray Blue said, uh, Evola should have converted to Islam. Now, Evola was Sicilian. Uh, now, without saying too much, Ray, just imagine for a second if we told you this guy's name was Farid. Would you buy it? Farid? Does he look like a Farid? I think he <laughs> could pass as a Farid, couldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> like a, a Moroccan uh, Arab, for example, or Tunisian Arab. He could very, pass, very you know, if you walked in Cairo and uh, he said, Hello, my name is Farid. You say, ah, hello, Farid. <laughs> you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you, you, you wouldn't you, bad you just opened the gates of hell with the, 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 the hate watchers right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you know, that he could, he could uh, pretend to be Arab. I mean, uh, very uh, to, to be fair, I mean, lately, uh, academic agent, and I would, I think Ebola as well. I think they have nice things to say about Islam as well. Yes. 
Well, the the looking at Islam is based, you know, because uh, it's kind of the meme. Islam is right about women, right? That's what they like really look, trying look, to say. They, but, they may have they uh, a broken clock may be correct twice a day. Have you have you heard the news I told today about Lebanon? Yeah. Lebanon, they want to be to want the, the the EU to become Lebanon because uh, if it will be Lebanon, the CCP will invade and conquer it you physically with uh, Chinese soldiers in Europe. If you will be as weak and as a uh, clan uh, like uh, uh, in fighting as as the the Arabs, yeah, you're I, I a guess, moron. If, if I, you... I, yeah. I mean, I guess um, from what I gather, I think A and the others think that. It's mostly because the, the reason why the Arab world is a mess is mostly because of uh, uh, Western influence and uh, uh, so so they saw too much as subversion today from Russia, morons. To us as freedom. Crap. Now, when I say the liberal mind, I don't just mean Democrat voters and communists or something like that. I mean me, you, all of us, me, you, and everyone watching this constantly defaults to thinking in a liberal way because these are the waters in which we swim this is how we've all been socialized from the second that we were born this is basically uh, some sort of a puritanical religious uh, christian like uh, uh, drive to utter uh, nonsense everyone is liberal deep down and it's such sinful they are all going to cause literal hell on earth this is basically a, a radical I, uh, Christian Puritanian uh, drive uh, into secular uh, fascism. I mean, I, no, I, no, no, no. I will, I will turn this logic on him. You want to have this uh, based in red pill fascism, so you won't get conquered by the CCP. Therefore, you just don't want to get conquered by the CCP. Why? Because you don't want to be a slave. Why? Because being a slave sucks. Therefore, you only care about pleasure and pain. Therefore, you are a degenerate. Therefore, you are a liberal on the, deep on the inside. Shut the fuck up, you fake intellectual moron. Man, I walked 12 hours at the factory today. You think I have patience for these freaks? I, I, I came home and sat 10 minutes before the stream and I need to do this, this nonsense. <laughs> I don't think he's saying that it's like an original sin or something. I think he's saying that, like from a young age, you you have been exposed to Western culture, which tells you uh, that generals are are bad. So we so just let 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 so we just <laughs> just immigrate to Tunisia and leave us alone instead of walking like <laughs> yes. a escape mental patient in bombing raids. Maybe you Go should to Tunisia or Iran. Yeah, but I think. Uh, but uh, Tunisia just uh, did a, a bloodless military coup against the Muslim Brotherhood, so it's not based enough. No. Uh, he should go to Iran, I think. <laughs> yeah, but but I think uh, ultimately he thinks that uh, th these places are also getting subverted by the West anyway. Um, I don't know. So m maybe th th there's no escape. Uh, so we should go to Mars, but oh no, uh, it's <laughs> Elon Musk. But Elon Musk is a capitalist, a libertarian. Uh, therefore, he is also degenerate. Therefore. Uh, Mars will be inherently degenerate for uh, look uh, uh, just kill yourself and you will have the the basin red pill uh, you could fight Satan uh, and Kali Yuga and Kali Lama uh, <laughs> in hell and be obviously obviously it, it's a it's a joke right well, you know but uh, hey, uh, Adam it's, it's very is, it's, is he hey this is a secret meeting Adam friended we've been talking about you 